to my vlog again. Today's a Monday. Um, I am planning my week right now on a weekly planner. I've had this for ages. Um, I use it on and off. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. But I'm going to try to be a little bit more diligent with my planning because I used to do it every morning and it kept me motivated, but nowadays I haven't been doing that and I am just constantly lacking when it comes to all those planning stuff and actually doing things. I procrastinate a lot and I'm not a very good organizer, so I decided that I'm going to use a planner again. That's what I usually resort to. Life has been pretty chill, pretty good. I finished my ceramics class last week. I'm gonna go pick up my ceramics either today or tomorrow. I can actually check the time to pick up my things. Actually, I'm just gonna check right now before I forget. I think I'm gonna either pick it up tomorrow or Wednesday, cause Tomorrow I'm going to pick it up at 2, 2.30, but I don't know if I really want to do that. So here are my plans for this week. I'm going to apply for artist residencies. Finally, hello. I haven't decided one. I'm going to finish my painting. And I want to sell some postcards or... I don't know. I want to do like a Patreon. I uh, I did set up a Patreon. But I want to do like monthly postcards. Because I honestly think that is the cutest thing ever. And I actually do lots of digital drawings and paintings already. And I'm not really using them for anything. So yeah, I I don't know. I did set up like a like a basic Patreon, like like a I forgot what it's called the tier. I think it was like a coffee, a cup of coffee tier. It's just a price of a cup of coffee. You're buying me coffee, <laughs> basically if you do that. And I'm gonna make another tier for postcards, um, and that's including the basic tier. Um, but let me know, like, I don't want to make something that nobody will be interested in, but I am super excited to do some, like, like, a s accessible art, like, art that I can actually give out to people, because, like, I keep my art a lot because it's larger pieces and they're more expensive. It's not that easy to just distribute that to people so I am open to doing postcards and posters or anything of those like paper shippable stuff so let me know um, I do have a couple original like screen prints and like art prints but those require I think that just needs to be framed and properly given out so let me know if you guys want a digital print let me know because I would love to distribute those I just don't know <laughs> if anyone would like it um <sighs> oh I'm so tired today but anyway that is my life right now at the moment I don't have much to update because it's summer break and I'm taking things really slow and I actually want to work a little bit more um yeah I think I'll just do it by ear today just see you <laughs> I don't know what to say
slightly dip it so that I don't have to like water it down with the I think I'm gonna call it a day and stop working. I I was surprisingly productive today. This never happens. Um, and I have fun getting back on my groove. My cats. I'm gonna close the door. I am so tired of looking at a screen right now. might read a book. I don't know. Anyway, that's all for today. Oh, keep you guys updated. I'm so tired today. Goodbye. Good night. I'm gonna have an early night today. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow honey golden 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 things gold hair gold ring
video that I'm gonna upload <laughs> this is how I edit my vlogs actually no not always um, anyway I don't want to be sidetracked um, yesterday I had an impromptu meet up with my friend it was kind of random we hung out it was nice I I picked up my ceramics yesterday. I forgot to bring up the room. Um, but it was, it came out pretty okay. I don't hate it, which is good, which is great. Um, today I have one thing that I want to finish and I want to vlog and wrap it up. I want to finish my painting. I have one last thing that I have to do for my painting, which is kind of putting the white streaks on the sky um, so that is left and I think I am ready to kind of let that dry I'm not sure if I'll glaze it I don't think I will I'm just gonna put a matte spray over it and I'll maybe frame it I don't know because the canvas is kind of bad I don't want anyone to touch the canvas right so, that is that. Um, I'm going to try to restretch the canvas again um, with the whole water and hair dryer method. I'm not sure if it's okay to use it on already painted canvas, already painted canvases, because I heard that you shouldn't, but according to the internet, it's fine. So we'll see. We shall see. Um, that is all. So I'm going to go finish up my painting. And I'll see you guys there. Last time. Okay, so it's a little crooked. So I'm just going to put a white streak. Another growth, another voiceover. So, before I go ahead, I want to talk about why I started this painting. It's because I've been struggling to paint. I've been struggling with my creativity a lot. And I was trying to break down why I've been struggling. I only started painting in 2021, and before that, I never painted before. And my growth felt drastic and big because I've never done acrylic painting before, then I jumped into oil. So I've been constantly grabbing new mediums the past two, three years in my art school. My growth as an artist felt really static as I went into my third year because I wasn't learning anything new, especially medium-wise, I wasn't learning anything new. and. By the time you're in third year, you're kind of expected to work on your own. It was difficult for me to kind of navigate where I was because it's only been exactly an year for me since I picked up the paintbrush and everyone expects me to make an established painting or I expected myself to do something like that. And I kind of put myself in a box 
of a certain style because everyone else seemed to have a style everyone else seemed to know what they're doing so I was like okay I'm gonna do this and this and that because I need my own style and I need to know what I'm doing and it turns out I didn't know what I was doing and I felt stuck so I kind of took a break from painting or whatever but one thing I did realize while I stopped painting was I organized all of my artworks I put all of my prints and then my paintings and I kind of organized them and this has helped me realize that I might have my own style already one of my things one of my insecurities was that I would be like I don't have an art style but I realized I kind of do and that kind of exists in my colors my color themes were cohesive in a way I tend to lean to certain color palettes and after realizing that I decided that I want to kind of make a landscape painting that reflects on the color theme that I use or the color theme that I like and this is what I got I have to say this is one of my favorite paintings ever I've learned that I don't need to make my own rules I don't know why I did that I feel so stupid right now but you know you live and you learn and this is what I have gotten out of this certain painting um, yeah and I just want to share all of that because that's what this channel is for to log my growth as an artist and sharing it with everyone well thank you for watching this week's vlog I think this is gonna be the end of it and I'll see you guys on the next one goodbye